Hello, Jackie Fuller here again from BBC Sport for another Carlings Night of Legends. Thank you for watching the highlights so far. We've already done the League Champions, Glen Torn. We've been to Distillery. We've been to Glenavon. Great nights. I believe we're expecting here at Solitude, home of Cliftonville, of course, over 100 people. So it should be a great night. We've got three great legends, one from the modern day. Top goal scorer last year, the Golden Boot. He was double player of the year, Chris Scannell. We've got a man who won a league title here in 98, Marty Tabb. And we've another gentleman, a real legend, who helped them win the Irish Cup in 1979. A real cult figure. I did say cult, didn't I? Yes, I did. He is John Platt, so it should be good. Enjoy. <laughs> Panel, who would you consider the best player you've played with in a red shirt? Chris. Marty, modern. Modern. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well, who you played with? No, Marty, in answer to your question, no, he wouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would be. Yeah, well, I, I played with Marty in my first, foot, first season and always looked up to him. Tremendous he to Absolutely, yeah. so it's a simple one for me, Marty. Marty, who would, looking back, I can think of a few, well, apart from Chris. It's interesting that I heard Chris talking about his operation stuff, and, and he's right, he did. I, the, the year after we won the league, when we were rubbish, the only person that wasn't rubbish in many respects, and I, I thought, the club has a future, is this guy here. And I'm not you know, just saying this because he said nice things about me, which is nice. But I, I recognise that this guy can play. Um, and... He's proved that, that to be the case. He's a great player and he, he, he's a, a true legend at this club and he, he's a great player in the Irish League. I knew he would be and he, he, he's going to continue to be because he's a fit guy and he loves the game and he loves playing football and he loves playing for Cliftonville and he's, he's, he's been very loyal to the club. But come back to the best player I played with, probably a guy you know, you know, Felix Healy, I would say, probably was the best player I played with. I played with him at Coleraine. He played for the, the Northern Ireland team went to the World Cup, probably should have been playing full-time football in England. That obviously guarantees free dental work for Marty <laughs> for as long as he lives. <laughs> oh, he needs immediate attention there. John, I'll come to you with the best player. best player I played with was Kieran McCurry. Kieran McCurry was absolutely outstanding. He could do things with a ball that I've seldom seen done and haven't seen for maybe years. Um, and the, the one fantastic thing he could do, he could turn a game. Here we could be, as we were, quite a few times behind, and Kieran McCurry would throw a pass to you. And you know, we used to laugh about this inside. When the ball bounced in front of me, the lace in those days was facing the right way. When McCurry passed it to you, when anybody else passed it to you, you might have had the lace across here, but not when McCurry passed it to you. He was absolutely <coughs> outstanding and was a total pleasure to play with. You think about the Gold Cup final where we beat Limfield 3-1. I mean, McCurry was in a total class of his own for most of that game. <coughs> and the things he did in the game were, I don't believe another player in the Irish League could have done it. And I would agree with Marty. I, I think Felix Healy was a, a very talented player, but he never wore a red shirt. This <laughs> <laughs> is there, Chris. What's your favourite goal you've scored so far? Thank you, Rocco. Favourite goal? <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? It's, it's a hard one. I'd like to think it scored that many that it's hard to pick between them. Um, I God, don't know. It's starting to sound like John. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, we may pack up here. <laughs> no, uh, the, the European game out here, scoring in Europe, it's always something I can say. Always something to have over Ronan and Michael. <laughs> I don't know who's him, so. No, it, it's things they got in the end, even last year, the county of them shield final. 
uh, scoring a goal, getting a penalty. So uh, there's, there's so many. They all mean so much to you at, at different times. And I mean, looking back at that, um, can I pick one? Which which DC one are you talking about? <laughs> uh, the John Platt. Do you wish we're playing now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I, I've discussed this quite a few times. Uh, I personally believe, and I do believe this very strongly, and I know probably Jackie won't agree with this, I think today's be players are better than they were when I played. I'm probably one of the few older <laughs> players who believes that. I think Chris is a better centre-forward than I was. Uh, I think yeah, I would agree with that. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, tactically players today are better. I think they're fitter. I think they are uh, more astute. They are more highly organised on the pitch. So I think today's football is definitely better than it was in my day. And would I like to be playing today? Yeah, I'd love to be playing today. There's one major reason why I'd love to be playing today. You're 57. Nearly. Uh, <laughs> and that is that centre-forwards are protected more today. You know, Jackie used to be an outside left. I know prom not, not many of you will remember that. He didn't play a lot. But, uh, <laughs> I stripped down a lot, but I didn't play a lot. I had a small heart. And, and, you know, forwards in our day, Jackie, you got the living daylights kicked out of you from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, and there was very little protection. And if there was any, you protected yourself. And I did a few times. Uh, as players, uh, you have all achieved so much in your playing career, true. But what is the best achievement while playing for the Red Army? Without doubt, uh, winning at Windsor Park. I was explaining to Chris tonight, when I played, our first game of the season was always at Windsor Park. I used to look forward to it every year, because if you won at Windsor Park the first game of the season, and we did, I think, four years out of the five, and uh, it came quickly, uh, that set the tone for the season. And they used to hate you after that. You used to go there and you knew immediately you had the edge on them from the start. So, winning at Windsor Park, and you know, I did score quite a few times at Windsor Park. <laughs> There's that old modesty again. Yeah, total. Chris, favourite moment? Favourite moment, playing for the Reds. Lafayette, Probably been out in Lafayette, yeah. Winning right. and <laughs> come back in the dressing room and seeing Freddie Jardine in tears, because you could see the boys just turning and walking away from him, because they were breaking down as well when they seen him. So, anybody who knows Freddie Jardine, absolute legend, doesn't say booty the goose in the dressing room, and he sat in the corner in tears as we walked in off of, uh, from the pitch. He was sitting there, just sitting there, tears tripping him, and nobody could go up and speak to him because they were choking up as they went up. So, probably that's, that's going to live with me for a long time. Yeah. What a great man uh, Freddie Jardine has been. He's even that old, he was there when I was playing, Chris. But what a great man, he's a great friend of mine. Marty, best moment for the Red Army? Oh, we talked about it earlier, Jackie. Obviously, the, the day we won the league. And, and it wasn't just about why it was so good for me. It was because of why it was so good for people like Freddie Jardine and people that have been at the club a long time, including a lot of people in the room. You know, the people here have, and the, the people who support the team have been through a lot over the years. Like, you know, yeah. So for, for once, it was good to see... <laughs> A really good team deliver, you know, because it was touch and go, you know, and for whatever reason we were playing an hour late and all that, but we came through it and we delivered. And and I look around the room and I know a lot of faces and, and I've seen them over the years and we talk about Freddie and we talk about the voice and, and, and people like that there that have stuck by the club. And that for me was what made it so special because a lot of special people had their dreams come true.